Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another update in my Panda Pal challenge for you, and it is this time really a very small and short update. This is the only thing I have to talk about. I didn't buy a new palette, I didn't get a new palette or a new shadow. I've been just working on this. This is the Sinopia palette by Marvel Cosmetics. It looks very dirty. I mean, I use it every single day, it looks very dirty. And I'm happy to say that we crossed the three year anniversary. I got this October 2nd, 2019. I'm gonna show it to you upside down because the mirror is here, but this is what it looks like. <laughs> I have done a How Will Does Perform on Current and Merlot, and surprisingly, I like both of those shades. Um, you know, I'm a broken record here, so the shimmer shades are much better than the matte shades, and the lighter mattes are much better than the dark mattes. However, the Merlot one actually performed super nice. That looks amazing on my eyes. I used it all of the eyes, and then I used Current on top. That was such a beautiful eye look. It, it worked absolutely amazing with my green eyes. Gorgeous. So, yeah, I kept these two. You know, usually these um, How It Does Perform videos are just to see if I like a shadow, if it works nicely, if it performs the way I want it to, and if not, I'm getting rid of it, but I kept both. I used up Birch. I know there's still a bit left, but like I do not want to get my brush into there and swirl around and possibly damage my brush. Like It's hard to get in into those corners, so I have a nice huge pan going on. I used it so many times. All of the eyes underneath everywhere. I'm okay with calling this quits. And then I hit pan on Pecan, finally. I think I also hit pan on this one. So wait, wait, wait a minute. The one that I used up is Brick. This one is Birch. And I think I hit pan on Birch. I'm not with you. So yeah. Uh, Birch, I have all my nails actually. I think it looks absolutely nice. I have to repaint my nails though because they just they're just nasty. But yeah. Super cool way to use up your shadow. And then Nudie, which is my current focus shade. I have that all of the eyes underneath. I even have it on as a contour slash bronzer. It's a bit of a poopy shade on me, so it doesn't always look that nice. I have to go in very light-handed. But yeah, it has a huge, huge dip. No pan, but a huge dip. I hope I can hit pan soon. That would be very nice. And then Pecan, I actually use to blend out a nice blending shade and as a powder, as a face powder. Which is why the pen is so... Like, I've been working on this ever since I started this, like, pen the palette with this one, and I just recently hit pen on this. Which is strange, because it's, to me, it's the blending shade, right? I use that every single day to blend in the shadow, and I just didn't hit pen. So, now I finally have, I use it as a face powder, like I said. It looks okay. Like, it, it looks... Like... Can you see? It's, it's the same. It's basically my skin color, so I'm happy I can use it like that. You know, any any way to use up shadow is fine by me. And then I also use champagne sometimes as a holiday. Currently not, because that actually does look a bit ashy and powdery on my face. That brings my total to, because I use up one shadow, to 92. And you're probably wondering, wow, you always said you want to be under 100 and buy a new palette. I set my new goal to 90 shadows, so only two more, and then up a new palette. I will never do that goal of 90 shadows again because I'm itching to buy something new, you know what I mean? I have a lot of palettes on my wishlist on Sephora and Colourpop and indie brands that I have my eyes on. I really want to buy something, but I set myself the goal of 90 and I will stick to that. I mean, look, if I, if I hit 90 eyeshadows, I can buy a palette of 8. I will not, I will not go back to 100, I will not buy a 10 pen palette. I can buy 2 quads, maybe, we will see. So. Yeah, this is what the palette looks like. My goal would be to finish this one up. Can I do that? You know what? I set the goal to use this one up. Hit pan on this one. Do a final. Final How Well Does Perform on Blue Moon. Oh. I used this in a look. It was a pot bingo, I think. And I don't remember if it looked that nice. I don't think it looked that nice. Look, I always say that. I hope it looks good. But I truly do hope, because the palette itself is very nice. You know, it's neutral, yes, but you have some beautiful shimmer shades in. You have the intense blue. <sighs> Let's hope this works out. And then, you know, maybe use up, definitely use up more of this. It's a nice shade, I have it in the inner corner, but it's not, it's not like, wow. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's nice, but not wow. If, by any chance, I do not like this shadow, I would do a second how this perform that would be with the new Panda palette. This the it's the sleek one. I forgot what it's called, but 
you know, just so you know if you see a second how well does perform this month. That's why. I, I have high hopes that this was Abna Sedov. It's a shimmer shade. Like I said, they always perform best. Because if you look, I, I skipped this one. I do not like that one. I don't like this one. And I do not like this one. They're all matte shades. So I have high hopes for Blue Moon. So that was it. That was the update. I'm sorry I could not give you a big update. I mean, I used up one shadow and I had pen on two. So it is rather big. But it's not like, look, look at all the different shadows. You know what I mean? Or, you know, like five palettes to, to show and talk about. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how your projects are going. Project pan, pan palette, project user, whatever it is. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time.